has been full of its ups and downs would be a little bit of an understatement. I mean, if you just take a snapshot from May 9th to the 21st, you can really see how this month has progressed. We started out with those below average temperatures and then things really started to soar and we soared fast, hitting our first 90 degree day of 2024. So it begs the question, if the month were to end today, where would it stand specifically here in Cleveland? I look at Akron and Canton areas and really not seeing any records being shattered there, but we could potentially be within that zone of the warmest and the driest May on record here in Cleveland. That is if the end month ended on May 21st, we would sit at ninth for both ninth warmest and ninth driest. However, we've got to talk about your weekend because that is going to bring us some bigger changes, not only in terms of cooler temperatures. You can see that decline in your temperature, but it's also going to bring us some better opportunities for rain. And quite frankly, it's rain that a lot of places, especially closer to the lakeshore, could be in need of. So let's walk you through what your rain tracker will show you here as we go through the next couple of days because there is a potential that a lot of spots here across Northeast Ohio could easily pick up close to an inch, almost an inch and a half of rain over the course of several days. This isn't just falling within a matter of say 12 or 24 hours. This is accumulating all of those rain chances that basically we have between now and about two o'clock on Monday. And you can tell that this is going to bring some beneficial rainfall to the area. If you've planted things, maybe you've put some grass seed out or you have some plants out for the season. Yeah, you may be wanting a little bit of Mother Nature's help with this and it's going to come in this bigger area of low pressure that's swinging through by the time we get into the second half of the holiday weekend. So yes, that does mean we're talking about some better opportunities for rain Sunday into Monday specifically. But it also means we're going to be tapping into some slightly cooler air and bringing in just a little bit more of that moisture as we look ahead towards the last couple of days of the month of May. There you can see the setup for next Tuesday because we're dealing with the flow around that area of low pressure. It does indicate that we're going to stay cooler and the overall grander pattern when you look six to 10 days out says, yeah, there's a pretty good likelihood that will be near average, if not just a little bit below average with most of that heat bottled up across the West Coast. Tracking the